Empaths attract narcissists, but super empaths are the narcissist's worst nightmare. They leave narcissists baffled and powerless. How are super empaths doing it? What are the super empaths' methods to confuse a narcissist? Today, we will show you five ways super empaths confuse narcissists. And we are starting right now. 1. Super empaths always say no to the narcissist. When a narcissist asks a super empath to do something, the super empath refuses by saying no. Narcissists think that people are easy to manipulate and dominate. When against super empaths, a narcissist's attempt to manipulate ends up in frustration. Super empaths show narcissists that they are impossible to repress and control. Because of this, narcissists will end up struggling for ideas to succeed in manipulation. When the narcissist finds it hopeless, they will back away and find a new victim. 2. The super empath ignores the narcissist. Narcissists are people who ignore those that do not interest them. Super empaths play it right back at them. That way is effective in leaving the narcissist confused. Super empaths ignore and avoid anything that involves the narcissist. You might be asking, avoiding is similar to walking away. So are you saying that super empaths are letting the narcissists win? No, don't get the wrong idea. Practicing avoidance is a convenient tool when dealing with toxic people. When you don't deal with toxic people such as narcissists, you will have better and better days in the end. Thus, it is a win for you in my book. Additionally, when a super empath ignores a narcissist, it will create these questions in the narcissist's mind. Are you discarding me? What did I do to deserve this? Leaving the narcissist hesitant about what to do next. 3. The super empath is not predictable. When you are not predictable, when you don't react, when you are formless, when you have a poker face, you keep the narcissist off balance. Super empaths doesn't show motives and intentions to the narcissist. They do not show their interests, and they don't give any clues. That's how a super empath confuses a narcissist. When you're as unpredictable as a roller coaster and maintain your poker face, you effectively keep the narcissist off balance. Super empaths don't reveal their motives or intentions, leaving the narcissist in a perpetual state of confusion. So when dealing with a narcissist, remember to stay unpredictable and keep that poker face. It's your secret weapon to keep them guessing and protect your peace. 4. The super empath does not give the narcissist negative attention. Like excited teenagers, narcissists relish every attention. Positive attention is excellent for the narcissist, but negative attention is a trigger to hold someone accountable. Acceptance of being wrong is not in their vocabulary. It is the unhealthy part of their thinking. Super empaths knew that if they gave the narcissist negative attention, the narcissist would turn to them. So how would the super empath respond? Super empaths choose to keep their silence and do not react over the matter. This way, the narcissist will find it disturbing what the super empath is thinking. 5. Super empaths don't give the narcissist any solid emotional reactions. Narcissists are sharp to the victim's responses. Whether it is a facial or verbal response, they analyze the reactions and respond accordingly to keep their control over the victim. Super empaths deal with it with a poker face. They just play it calmly and indifferently. Super empath uses the poker face no matter how absurd or inappropriate the narcissist's behaviors or lies. No reaction, no information, no opinion, no validation, no compliment, no criticism, nothing at all. It will give the impression that a super empath is unreadable. They will continue to observe. Guess what? The narcissist sees no advantage to being around the super empath, so they rarely extend offers unless they have to. This doesn't just confuse the narcissist, but it is game over. They will conclude that super empaths are impossible to deal with. Focus on this. Suppose a super empath is in a direct family or in a relationship with a narcissist. In that case, the super empath does not take accountability for the narcissist's emotions and actions. If the narcissist is pissed, then the super empath lets him be pissed. However, it rips the super empath's feelings from the inside out. 
But in the end, the narcissist will consider the super empath unreadable. Questions like, do you care for me? Or do you not feel pity for me run through the narcissist's mind? Six, the super empath agrees to everything the narcissist says, even to the point of absurdity. I know you think, this contradicts everything you mentioned earlier. Hold your horses, listen up, and hear this one out. This unique scenario is related to those with close relationships with narcissists. When you hear two people having a conversation, you usually hear someone saying, yeah, sure, oh, definitely, absolutely right, and of course. Using these words confirms that the other person is giving attention and supports the speaker to proceed without interfering with the flow of their story. Typically, the opposite person will expect an explanation of why the other one agrees or says more things about the subject. Suppose a super empath is in a relationship with a narcissist. In that case, they will agree with whatever the narcissist says, but do not act the way they want. The super empaths would respond simply, yeah, sure, but do not commit. Living the narcissist is confused about the super empath's reply. You see, things will be a bit different if it involves love towards the other person. This is only for the super empath to avoid giving negative sentiments. This is for rare cases where a super empath is in a relationship with the narcissist, a close family, or a relative. 7. The poker face super empaths keep their cool. Super empaths are the undisputed masters of emotional composure. When confronted with the narcissist's outlandish behavior or a barrage of outrageous lies, they exhibit an unwavering, stoic, and poker-faced demeanor. This unyielding facade of indifference proves to be a strategic move in the psychological chess match they find themselves in with the narcissist. Imagine a chessboard with the narcissist thinking they are in control. They make their moves, expecting a reaction, a sign of weakness, something to exploit. But in the presence of a super empath, it's as if their pieces are frozen in place. No matter how cunning or manipulative their moves, the super empath remains unflinching. The lack of emotional reaction from the super empath leaves the narcissist in a state of bewilderment and frustration. It's like playing chess against a grandmaster who anticipates every move, leaving the narcissist with an ever-dwindling list of options. In the end, the narcissist realizes that the super empath is a formidable opponent, a puzzle they can't solve, and they retreat, defeated and confounded. But wait, there's a bonus tip reserved for those with close relationships with narcissists. Bonus. No fuel, no fire, super empaths deny negative attention. Narcissists thrive on attention, be it positive or negative. Super empaths understand this and avoid giving them the satisfaction of a reaction. By keeping their emotions in check and not responding to the narcissist's provocations, they create an enigma the narcissist can't crack. As you can see, there are a lot of ways to throw a narcissist off and make them feel uncomfortable. It is draining and exhausting for super empaths to experience this. This is because super empaths also have an extreme sense of feeling and compassion towards other people. But also, it is unhealthy to deal with narcissists and continuously let them consume you as the supply. It can take a long time to heal from such involvement. If you know you are dealing with a narcissist, our only suggestion is to walk away and go no contact if possible. If you find this video informative, give this a like and subscribe to this channel. You should watch another intriguing video over here.